and on the eighth day, after he'd been in the pub celebrating, God went mad and invented Somerset. Clarkson on BBC Two. And in ten minutes on BBC Two, a new series, Ray Mears' okay, World of Survival, exploring some of the world's most inhospitable areas. OK, Glenn, take ten. You're on an unscheduled tea break. Good evening, viewers. Hi, I'm sorry about this untimely interruption, but my name's Kay Adams, and I bring news from the world of digital television, where we do things just a little bit differently. Well, yes, we all love the glossy graphics and velvet voices of analogue telly, but we also get a kick out of showing you what lies behind the facade. And in this case, it's a young man with an earring and no tie on. And the most appalling eating habits. Hey-ho. Now, digital television. Qu'est-ce que c'est? Well, I sent two of my young apprentices to find out. See that? Watch. That is the future. Watch. A load of noughts and ones. Exactly. That's digital. The future of broadcasting. So what's so wonderful about that then? Well, up until now, all we've had are these wavy things. Analog waves, to be precise. Ah, why the three clips? That's caused by interference you sometimes get when the wavy things... Analog waves. Thank you. Bounce off, say, the nearest tall building or anything. Ah, whereas with digital, the interference doesn't affect the picture at all. What the boys are trying to tell you is that the picture and sound quality of digital television is stonking. And I'm sure that Phil and Malcolm here in the digital transmission area will agree with that. Absolutely. But you might say to me, Kay, I'm quite happy with what I've got. Well, answer me this. If I said, trade me your CD collection to go back to vinyls, would you do it? Crackle, crackle, hiss, hiss. I don't think so. So, you've got crystal clear sound. You've got these lovely... Lovely wide, widescreen pictures, but never mind the widths, you want quality programmes. BBC Choice gives you more of the things you like from the BBC. More about its drama. I mean, she does despicable things, really, but um, gets away with them. Um, and she's the grandest manipulator any sort of um, situation. She'll uh, assess it immediately. Normal drama, you'd have the camera preceding her as she got out of the car and drawing and as she goes through the station to the block room. But in reality, she was running like hell. I told her to run as fast as she can. She said, well, the camera will never catch me up. I said, it doesn't matter. If, we'll try to get, if the camera is trying to catch you, if it's trying to move as fast as possible, that will feel real. More about your favourite soaps. We were both so tearful. Because normally you, you'll run the lines a couple of times, then you run them for cameras, then you run them for this, then you run them for that, and eventually, after about 10 goes of it, you'd get around to filming it. We, could, we couldn't even run the lines without crying. It was that, we were that bad. <laughs> Come on. Otherwise, you're going to miss your plane. All right, I'll ring you as soon as I get there. Yeah. No, don't watch me, will you? More sport with extra coverage. And brand new programmes. Over on BBC Choice now, Rose Ed is about to begin. Every Saturday after Match of the Day, we're live from Rose Ed. Don't get out much in South East London. <laughs> you, have to hear, you have to hear what the rest of the world is saying about you. This particular fight for me means so much. Even though I regard Wayne McCulloch uh, five in my estimation as coming up to my ability. He's run about maybe four or five, so um, he's just basically going to get a severe beating. Always something unexpected. More music, whatever your age, Mick. So, I, I mean, I hope to do that as long as I can physically do it before it comes, like, too embarrassing. 
I know that some people think it's embarrassing already, but lots of people like it. Why is it the record you buy never gets to number one? Why are the charts not as good as they used to be? Why are CDs round? And more programmes for you young hip chicks. Do I still qualify for that? Hello! Hello! Yes, we come in peace, and we'll leave in pieces. Uh, three hours, 15 people, a box of matchmakers. This is hype. Now, what I do on Choice, thank you for asking, is present a programme called Backstage every weeknight at six. And we like to show you the bits of the BBC you don't normally see, like this. Look, Jules Holland dressing room is in there. That's fab, isn't it? Do you think your life would make a good Doctor Soap? No, no, not at all, God. And I actually, I'm, I'm to be, with all due respect, I'm absolutely bored to death with these programmes. Remember? Yes, all right, <laughs> fair enough, Kay. <laughs> Touché. So um, we have security guards at sort of every point of the audience because Why we had that? a woman run on to get clothes off. No, really? <laughs> For it's any good right. reason? I never recognised <laughs> I was, I was the test card. You were the test card. <laughs> what was it? Do you lie? Of course I do, yeah. Yeah, I'm economical with the truth, as politicians would say. I would call it lying. They're so far up themselves, they're wearing themselves as weak sometimes, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> I can't tell you. Choice is just one of the BBC's digital channels. This is the home of another, BBC News 24. Essentially a simple concept, news 24 hours a day, non-stop. Just think, you can go to bed with and wake up with Gavin Esler. Or one of his pals. They're all very nice. And they've got a wicked sense of humour. <coughs> but anyway, hello. Looking to the future. In 1999, the BBC launches a new interactive digital learning channel geared to both adults and children. This new channel opens up the world to you and your family and brings it into your home. It's the UK's first public service learning channel, which allows you to access the programmes and support material to help your family rise to the top. Ooh, you're looking lovely. Already up and running, the Parliamentary Channel. Uninterrupted coverage of all the action in the Commons. I'm confident about our inflation forecast, and I set policy... I said action. It was a falsehood that was worse. It was a lie. Oh, well. At least the families will know where they are. Funny, we were in Westminster last week on Backstage. Have I mentioned Backstage? And today, all hell has let loose, quite frankly. At 4.30, Ron Davis, the Secretary of State for Wales, managed to knock General Pinochet off the top of the headlines because he has resigned. In fact, you can probably hear that behind me. Six o'clock news will be on somewhere. There it is up there, look. Come round this way, Tim. There's Nicholas Witchell on the six o'clock news and he's announcing the resignation of the Secretary of State for Wales, Ron Davis, because of um, a strange incident that happened to him last night on Clapham Common. So there you have it, BBC Choice and BBC News 24, BBC Parliament, a new BBC Learning Channel, BBC Interactive Digital Text, and of course, BBC One and Two, all in digital widescreen. OK, I better go. I don't want this poor guy to lose his job. If you would like to visit the parallel universe that is digital television unaccompanied by me, then all the BBC channels are free to air. From today, you can get them through your regular aerial, so long as you have a set-top box. And if you're a satellite bunny, then you'll need a set-top box and a new dish. Next year, it'll be on digital cable as well. And for further information, visit our website. OK, guys, thank you very much indeed. A job well done. Glenn, normal service is about to be resumed. Be brave. Look at it this way. You won't have to shave for a month. Ow! I'm glad they didn't do that to me. Anyway, BBC Choice can also offer you a theme night every Sunday night. Tonight, comedian Sean Locke takes a poke at cops on the box. That's in The Take, evening all. It's all part of BBC Digital. The adventure has begun.